My name is Wally Willannon. I'm um, from Butler, Pennsylvania. This is my seventh season here on staff uh, here at Philmont, the train center. Uh, my first summer was in 2011. I was a group leader. Same with 2012. I was a group leader. Then I stayed for that fall where I became the PTC staff coordinator. Then I stayed for that winter where I was part of the PTC staff also. Uh, then that following summer, so that's the summer of 2013, I was the train center group leader coordinator. Then I stayed for this past fall where I was the uh, PTC staff coordinator again. Then I came back this summer, came back in March, and I'm the PTC program manager. So I oversee from small fry all the way to Silverado's, just all the, the fun stuff that we get to do pretty much. Um, some of my scouting history, I started out as a Tiger Cub way back in first grade, worked my way through the ranks. Uh, my mom was one of the den leaders. She was very active in that. And uh, you know, that was a long time ago. So what I remember from it, I just remember more than hands-on stuff. I remember going to the campouts, the Klondike derbies. And uh, I remember the older scouts always coming down and talking to us about what it would be like to move on to the next rank. So it kind of get us hooked to go up, you know, because you're kind of, you know, what is that mysterious area above us? So we'd always do that. And then uh, I remember when I came up my arrow of light, uh, the Boy Scout troop were actually there. They were there. They met us there. After we crossed over, we had a little bridge. We crossed over the bridge. Once that was done, they would actually tie a neckerchief around us to symbolize that we were now part of their troop now. We were no longer part of the pack. So it was kind of cool, something that all of us got to look forward to. And then I became active in the Boy Scouts. Uh, a lot of my Cub Scout friends dropped out, but you know, new ones joined in. So it was an interesting transition period. Um, and then like, once the troop started going, you know, I realized what it was all about. Um, one of my friends actually transferred to a different troop, and he would always come to school and talk about what all this troop did, you know, all these campouts, interesting things they did. So I actually transferred troops then to go over and join them. And uh, they did uh, at least one camp out every month. And then uh, at every December, we have what we call a fun camp out. So it's where we got to play video games, play board games, all the adults do the cooking, the cleaning, so we didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. But we uh, realized you know, that to make the kids want to go to that, they kind of had to earn it, you know? so that can't be the only camp out that some of these kids would go on. So uh, our troop, they established a point system. So if you wear a uniform to your meeting, that's a point. If you come to the meeting, that's another point. If you get this merit badge, it's worth this many points. And you need to reach this minimum requirement of points for the year so that way you're allowed to go on the fun camp out. So it's kind of an incentive throughout the year to keep on going. And our campouts, they would vary. We'd always do them in different places. Uh, so one time we went scuba diving, another time we went mountain biking. Uh, we did rock climbing, repelling, backpacking, then just some regular fun campouts. We went to a local scout camp and just hung out, brushed up on our skills for a little bit. In uh, 2005, I went to the National Jamboree, and that was my first experience at a high adventure camp. And it opened my eyes to really what scouting is in the big picture. And uh, I fell in love with it. It was so much fun. It was something just out of the unusual I've never done before, just the hubbub of it going around. So that really got me more interested in what happens on the bigger, broader level. And then uh, got my eagle uh, right before I turned 18. So as I slid in right the last minute, you know, it was one of those things, you know, I was caught up with the fun stuff that was going on. And a lot of times the fun stuff did correlate with rank advancement, but it didn't always do that. And then once you hit that certain point, you kind of had to put your effort uh, forth to get the eagle. So I kind of stalled there a little bit, but then I eventually got it. I built uh, two bookcases for my church, and I believe they're still used to this day. They were pretty sturdy, so I know they didn't blow away yet. Um, and then the college years came around and you kind of fell out of the scouting movement just because college takes up a lot of time, you know, a whole new environment. Um, and then, you know, once I grew or halfway through college, I was still kind of active with my home troop a little bit. I'd go to, go to a meeting once or twice a year, try to catch a camp out if I could. And uh, they asked me if I could help out with the uh, Klondike Derby because our troop was running a stand. I was like, yeah, sure. So I went for the weekend, did that. And then um, the scout master who was helping it with me, he said he was getting a Philmont contingent, a Philmont contingent together. I was like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. You know, I knew a couple of people that did it, but never went there. Didn't really understand what all this hype was about. And uh, so he talked to me about it, you know, gave me some papers about it. And I was like, all right, sure, you know, I think I'll give it a try. So I did a trek out here in 2008, absolutely fell in love with it, swore I would be back. And that's why I came back in 2011 to work on staff, and I've been here ever since. Um, currently, I am an assistant scoutmaster for my troop back home, and they're actually coming out here this Friday, their first time at Philmont, so I'm really excited to see them. Um, I'm also on the district level. I help plan some of the activities, so the Klondike Derby, uh, fall campery, sp uh, spring campery, try to get some of that stuff going on too. So throughout my life, scouting has been a big part of me, and uh, I absolutely love the organization, and I'm a big fan.